Good afternoon, year six. This is our second session for the topic of Hindu heritage, where we are learning the Hindu calendar. So last lesson, I had introduced you to this topic and we had started discussing the Hindu calendar. So this is our second session of the same. But before that, let us look at the previous session. Now, in the previous session, I, I gave you the definition of heritage. What does it mean? Something which you inherit. Okay. And then I also told you what we can inherit. Now, Hindu calendar is our inheritance. Now, surprisingly, you might also find a calendar in your house. But it will be in the language you use at home. Yes, the Hindu calendar is actually found in many languages. Gujarati, Tamil, Marathi, Tam Telugu, Bengali. Yes, the same calendar we get in different languages. So we are going to study the actual Hindu calendar, the way it is described in our scriptures okay now previously what did we learn about what a calendar is a document that shows us the day the month and the year we are in and then what else did we say it shows us the dates of the upcoming festivals now for the Hindus we all know that our festivals do not have a fixed date. They, they, are, they fall according to the Tithi. Now, in this next lesson, like I told you today, we are going to learn what a Tithi is and how it comes up. Now, Hindu calendar, like I said last time, is based on the lunar calendar. Yes. The lunar calendar, meaning the changes in the phases of the moon, it makes up one month. So such like those months, they are 12. They are put together to make up the Hindu calendar. Now, let us look at the Hindu month. In the last discussion when I ended up, what did I say? One Hindu month is calculated from one new moon to the next new moon okay and the period between the new moon and the next new moon is equal to 29 and a half days so we can say that one hindu month has 29 and a half days yes and then we are going to also now going to look at how the month is so that you can understand every part of it. So, this Hindu month is divided into two parts. We have the bright half and the dark half. The bright half has a fortnight and the dark half also has a fortnight. Okay? And the bright half of the fortnight night in the Hindu calendar is known as Shukla or Shuddha Paksh, Krishna or Vadya Paksh. So in the calendar you will find the way it is described. You will see Shukla and Krishna and you will see Shuddha and Vadya. Now let us look at how this happens. Now the bright fortnight. How is it coming up? The bright fortnight starts from the new moon, like I told you, going up all the way to the full moon. So now, how does it come up? Let's look at it. It becomes brighter. Yes. Or what we can say is the moon increases in size. That is the bright half and then we have 
the dark half. So here the light decreases yes of the moon meaning the size of the moon also decreases so this is what is actually happening in the whole month we have the bright half and the dark half now all this this is a fortnight and this is a fortnight so now let us look at the bright fortnight and then we look at the dark fortnight. Now, the 15 days that make up the bright fortnight and then we have the 15 days that make up the dark fortnight. And in this both, the days have their names. Yes they have their names and each tithi like the day is called a tithi so each has its own name so we can know from the that which day we are particularly talking about so i'm going to take you to the first day of the fortnight of the lunar fortnight that is the first day of the lunar fortnight is known as pratipad the second day is known as Dvitya, the third day is known as Tritya, the fourth day is known as Chaturthi, the fifth day is known as Panchami, the sixth day is known as Shasti, the seventh day is known as Saptami, the eighth day is known as Ashtami, the ninth day is known as Navmi, the tenth day is known as Dashmi, the eleventh day is known as Ekadashi, the twelfth day is known as Duadashi, the 13th day is known as Trayodashi. The 14th day is known as Chaturdashi. Now, the 15th bright day is known as, sorry. The 15th bright day is known as Purnima. Yes, bright day is known as Purnima, whereas the 15th dark day is known as Amavasya. Now, why did I change this and I didn't bring everything? So, this is how it happens. Let me start again. Okay, so we have Pratipad, Dvitya, Tritya, Chaturthi, Panchmi, Shashti, Saptami. Then we have Ashtami, Navmi, Dashmi, Ekadashi, Dwadashi, Trayodashi, Chaturdashi, and then we have Purnima. Okay? Now, again we start with Pratipad, Vitya, Tritya, Chaturthi, Panchmi, Shashti, Saptami, Ashtami, Navmi, Dashmi, Ekadashi, Dwadashi, Trayodashi, Chaturdashi. And then again the 15th day changes. We call it Amavasya. So from here, have you made a deduction, deduction what you can say? Yes, they are two Pratipad, two Dvitya, two Tritya, two Chaturthi. To Panchmi, to Shasti, to Saptami, to Ashtami, to Navmi, to Dashmi, to Ekadashi, to Dwadashi, to Trayodashi, to Chaturdashi, but we don't have to Purnima or two, to Purnima or two Amavasya. We have only one Purnima and we have only one Amavasya. Now, let us see how do we differentiate the names and I'm going to show you something yes so we have those names added to like we call it Shikla or Shuddha or we call it Krishna or Vadya now let's see how it happens and I'm going to use something to show you 
okay now let's say the first day of the fortnight will either read shukla pratipad shuddha pat or shuddha pratipad yes of the bright fortnight that is and if it is the dark fortnight we call it krishna pratipad or padya pratipad so like that we have got different days of the fortnight yes we have the bright half and the dark half so let us look at the names of the days of the fortnight once again so that you remember okay you can either look at this chart or you can even follow in your timetable in your class workbook quest sentence number 7 yeah where we have written down the days of the fortnight so let us look at the first day of the fortnight so we go all the way down then we play a game okay so what do we say the first day of the fortnight pratipad dvitya tritya chaturthi panchmi shashti saptami ashtami navmi dashmi ekadashi dwadashi trayodashi chaturdashi and then we have purnima and amavasya now let us go back again okay once more and you can say with me because you can read obviously so let's go pratipad dvitya tritya chaturthi panchmi shashti saptami ashtami navmi dashmi ekadashi dwadashi trayodashi chaturdashi and then we have purnima or amavasya now let us look at you say the name of the day as i show you the name of the day what is the first day called can anyone tell me what is the first day called yes it's called pratipad then we have the second day second day is called dvitya third day is tritya fourth day is called chaturthi fifth day is called panchmi sixth day is called shashti seventh day is called saptami eighth day is called ashtami ninth day is called navmi tenth day is called dashmi eleventh day is called ekadashi twelfth day is called dwadashi thirteenth day is called chatur trayodashi fourteenth day is called let me see Fourteenth day is called Chaturdashi. Fifteenth bright is called Purnima, and fifteenth dark is called Amavasya. Okay. Let's see how much you remember. So now I'll pick any card which has the day. Okay, maybe first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, bright or fifteen dark. So these are the cards I have in hand. Okay, now you look at your notes, sentence number seven, and let's see if you can quickly recognize the day 
which I have removed from my cart. What is the first day cold? Yes, Pratipad. Second day, Dvitya. Third day, Tritya. Fourth day, is it the fourth day? No, it's the 15th dark day. So what is it called? What is it called? Amavasya. 15th bright, what is it called? Purnima. Fourth day. Chaturthi. 14th day. Chaturdashi. 13th day, Trayodashi, 5th day, Panchmi, 12th day, Dwadashi, 6th day, Shashti, 11th day, not Agyaras, it's Ekadashi. I know you will be saying Agyaras, Agyaras. It's not Agyaras. It is Ekadashi. Then 10th day, Dashmi. 9th day, Say, say, Navmi. 7th day, Shashti. And then 8th day is Ashtami. Let's go back to the same game. Okay? Yeah, let's play cards. Okay? Now, I don't know which card is coming. So, you are going to say the name. Yes, first day, what is it called? Pratipad. 13th day? Yes, Trayodashi. 5th day? Panchmi. 4th day? Chaturthi, eighth day, Ashtami, fourteenth day, no, not Chaturthi, it's Chaturdashi, fifth, third day, Tritya, second day, Dvitya. 15th dark, Amavasya. 7th day, Saptami. 12th day, not Dvadashi, it's Dvadashi. 12th day, 12th day, it's Dvadashi. What was this day? 15th bright. Purnima. Yes. And then ninth day is Navmi. Tenth day, Dashmi. Eleventh day, yes, not a Gyaras, Ekadashi. And then, which is this day? I can't read. Let me see. Sixth day, Shashti. Now I play the other one. This is which day? First day. Pratipal. Dvitya is second day. Tritya is third day. Chaturthi is fourth day. Panchmi is fifth day. Shasti is sixth day. Saptami is 7th day, Ashtami is 8th day, Navmi is 9th day, Dashmi is 10th day, Ekadashi is 11th day, Dvadashi is 12th day, Trayodashi is 13th day, 
चतुर्दशी इज फोर्टींथ डे फिफ्टींथ डे इज पूर्णिमा इज फिफ्टींथ ब्राइट एंड अमावस्या इज फिफ्टींथ डार्क सो लेट्स प्ले अवर कार्ड्स ओके एंड यू रेकोगनाइज विच डे of the month it is the fourth night sorry so i don't know which card i'll pick so which is this yes 14th day of the fourth night and then this one 13th day of course now eighth day I'm picking randomly so I don't know which one I'm picking. Yes. Punch me. Fifth day. So here. Chaturthi. I know you are all looking up and down, up and down. Chaturthi. Fourth day. Then. Shashti. Sixth day. Of course. Then. Vitya. Say, say, Dvitya is second day. Then, Tritya is third day. Here, Ekadashi is eleventh day. Then, Dwadashi is not the Dwa, Dwa, Dwa. Dwadashi is twelfth day. I'll tell you how to read. Dashmi. Tenth day, Saptami is seventh day. Then we have Pratipad, first day. You remember we did Diwali and it come Pratipad. That's the first day of the Hindu month here. Yeah. Then Amavasya is the fifteenth dark, and then Purnima fifteenth bright, and the last one is Navmi. Now, when we are looking at the days after Dashmi, Ekadashi. Let's let's get it, okay? One minute. I come back. Like I said, after Dashmi, what does this read? Ekadashi. Now Dashi means ten. Eka means one. So that's ten plus one. It makes Ekadashi. Then we have Dua Dashi. Dashi is ten. Dua is two. So that is ten plus two is twelve. That is Dua Dashi. Trio means three. Dashi is ten. So ten plus three is thirteen. Yes, Trio Dashi. And then we have Chatur Dashi. Now, most of us, when I'm I'm going to when I try to. Ask you what it means. This is how you forget. Second day is Vidya. Twelfth day is Dwadashi. Then we have Tritya. Third day. Then we have Trayodashi. Thirteenth day. Then we have Chaturthi, which is the fourth day, and then we have Chaturdashi, which is the fourteenth day. Chatur, Chatur, four, four. This is only four. This is Chatur means four plus ten. So let's go back to the fifteen days of the fortnight once more, yeah, and then we end our today's session. Do we want to end it? Okay. Let me teach you something else also with the days of the fortnight, but in a minute, okay. So we look at the days of the fortnight once more. Yes, can we continue? Pratipad, Dvitya, Tritya, Chaturthi, Panchmi, Shasti, Saptami, Saptami, Ashtami, Naomi, Dwadashi, No, Dashmi, Ekadashi, Dwadashi, Trayodashi, Chaturdashi, Fifteenth Bright is Purnima. And fifteenth dark is Amavasya. Now those are the fifteen days. Yes, I hope you are going to master those days. 
and then be able to answer those questions which are following this discussion yeah now i know we have done this in year five but i want to go through it again because it is part of the hindu calendar now there are six rutus there are six rutu in a hindu calendar now what are rutus rutu are seasons and how many are there in the hindu calendar six yes so let us go to i will only say this side you are going to give me the names of as in the hindu calendar so what is spring known as in the hindu calendar yes vasant rutu um uh, rainy season is known as varsha rutu summer is grishma rutu autumn is sharad rutu extreme winter is shishir rutu hemant rutu is what winter yes so let's say the names of the six rutu vasant rutu grishma rutu varsha rutu sharad rutu hemant rutu and shishir rutu which is the summer in the hindu calendar grishma rutu winter is hemant rutu autumn is sharad rutu rainy season is varsha rutu spring vasant rutu extreme winter shishir rutu so today we come to the end of our session second session and hopefully now you can answer the the following questions which were part of your assignment today so until uh, next week see you hope you enjoyed the session and the explanation it's the way we, we do it in class yeah see you stay at home and keep safe bye